Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we would be just looking at this very quick update that is coming from Pixelogic, the makers of ZBrush. And so it is basically a teased photo of ZBrush 2019. And if you simply look at the uh, the image here, the image that was teased, you're going to notice that there is a lot of boxes, okay? And inside of these boxes, there are stuffs packed up together. We already made a video sometime uh, last year and uh, you can check that in the description and i'm also going to put it in the tag in the cards and also in the uh, end notes where we talked about the possible features that we would probably see and some of these things covered the things that were showed off as at uh last year when they had some sort of uh live stream okay so what we would be seeing this year you can also uh, see that within this uh, stand post here we have uh, things like folders cameras z remesher so maybe there is going to be a couple of things coming to z remesher uh, for the cameras yes there are also going to be uh, features coming over to the camera and one of the things that they have actually talked about is that they will be adding a new standard camera with uh, real world lens properties the folders is also something that would come so if you look at the image here you would notice that we have all of these things as subtools and yes you can now have folders that would you know pack subtools or pack tools together and you can have folders that you can work with some of them can be visible and others can be uh, on this in invisible other things that we would like to also see or other things that we will probably see is spotlight is going to get some uh some walkover there is also going to be a new feature called alpha measure for now i don't really know what that is that simply is entirely a new feature that would be coming and i also think the zero measure would also get a bit of love and hopefully it's going to be way better than what it is presently and all hopefully the spotlight will also be a bit better other things that we saw last year that we would probably see is the integration between the camera directly from ZBrush to KeyShot. This is just uh, things that would come true. And I think they are working on the UVs and hopefully there will be better UVs. And one thing for me is I really, really wish that they can work on something like an inbuilt renderer something that is way better just in case uh, as a as an artist or maybe as a freelancer or someone that don't really have the budget to purchase both keyshot and zbrush at the same time that you can do a proper nice render rendering there if they can also you know work on the texture painting thingy it will be really really amazing instead of like uh, getting that stuff out and going to a third party application and painting if you can paint comfortably there I don't know it's totally my opinion and i would like to know what you guys think something that you should know is zbrush is going to be live on the 5th of march so a couple of days from now there would be a live stream of uh zbrush live where they would you know showcase these tools that is coming over to zbrush if you want to check out the blog you can come over to uh, pixelogic.com forward slash blog and you can see the blog here okay so I would like to know what you guys think about this and i'll also advise you you know to turn on your reminders for tuesday the 5th of march as at about 12 pm okay uh pst you would be witnessing the unveiling of zbrush 2019 okay that is how it's written here and just in case you are new to zbrush zbrush is basically up available for two platforms which is windows and mac os Presently, a new license costs about $895, and I would like to know what you guys think about this. Who is excited about ZBrush coming out? I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. What are the features you would want to see, and what are the features that you have now that you really want them to, you know, improve on and update? I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, simply give it a like, and don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you're new here, it would be amazing if you can just turn on notification. And until I see you again with a news update, rant, tutorial, review, or something like this, peace.